Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you the quickest way to do a screen capture and then compress and resize that screen capture for the web. It's pretty easy to do where you're going to be using free software, and in some cases you may not even need to load software, and it's only going to take you a minute to do. Let me show you what I mean. Now, as you probably know, in Windows, if you want to do a screen capture, you can press Print Screen, but it captures the entire screen, and you may not want to do that. You may want to just capture a window. Well, you can do that with print screen. What you have to do is you hold down the Alt key and then press print screen. And I've just done that. That's Alt plus print screen. And once you do that, that image, whatever screen that you wanted to capture, will be stored in memory. And the way that you get to it is you open any image editing program. And I like the IR Fan View or Earthen View image program. It's free, it's easy to use. Once you open it, you click Edit and then Paste. And that image that we captured earlier automatically pasted in. You can see how easy that was. We didn't need any special image capture or screen capture software. All we had to do was hit Alt and the print screen, and it'll capture the active window. And once you get it in Arfin View, there are a lot of things you can do. If you're going to upload to my website or my discussion, you'll want to click Image. You'll want to come down to Resize. You see where it says Set New Size? If this is going to the discussion forum, you'll want to make the width 800 and then click OK. And the next thing you want to do is click File, and then choose Save for Web. And on the Save for Web page, you'll see you have a couple of options. It tells you the initial image size. It was right over 1 megabyte. And over here, it tells you the optimized image is 94. Well, on my website, you can't upload images greater than 75K, so we'll have to adjust that. And the way we do that is we come down to where it says Quality, and we just reduce the quality a bit. And you see now we just reduced it to 72, and the image quality is now 66 kilobytes, which will fit. If you're wondering about the resolution, you can click one by one here, and it actually shows you the image resolution that you'll be downloading. If you look between the two, it's almost impossible to tell the difference. So the quality will be good once you have optimized the image. Then you click File, Save As, and give it a new file name. Before you optimize the image, you may discover that it looks better in GIF format, so you can click the GIF link. And Usually GIF is going to be good for screen captures where there's no photos or anything like that on the page. But if there's photos on the page, you'd be better off saving as a JPEG. So it's pretty easy to do. We're going to close the Save for Web window and see your original image is still there. Now if you're uploading this to Craigslist or eBay, when you do the image resize, you might want to make it 1080p. And see the, the, the size is already here. Or you might want to make it 1024 by 768 larger image works better on eBay and Craigslist. And to do those, you just click right there, click OK, and then File, Save for Web. And on Craigslist and eBay, there's not really any restrictions. It's a good idea to keep under 300K so it loads quickly, but it's easy to do. We did all this using Earthen View, and Earthen View is a free program, and you can find it here at earthenview.com. It's got a download, and if you have a 64-bit computer, I recommend you download the 64-bit version and this is the 64-bit version page right here. I'd recommend downloading the self-extracting file. It's a small file. It's only 3.36 megabytes. Download that and then install it. And then after you download it, go ahead and download the plugins because that's where you're going to find the save for web. Download and install that. And then once you do, you'll have the full version of Earth View on your computer. You'll be able to do all the things that I've showed you. Again, just start out by doing a screen capture. When we did the screen capture by making sure that the screen we wanted was the active screen. You can tell because it'll be highlighted here. And then we press Alt and Print Screen. And then once we've done Alt Print Screen, we click Edit and then Paste. And it pastes in the image that we have. You see here I've captured the image of the screen we were looking at and only that screen. So it worked the way we wanted. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.